Castlegar's finest threw down the gloves for the ultimate matchup of the Castlegar Fire Department versus the Castlegar RCMP in the first annual Smoke and Guns Road Hockey Matchup. Members from both detachments took part in the game of shimmy, all in support of Castlegar's bid for Craft Hockeyville. Well, we're in this hunt for uh, Craft Hockeyville, and I thought, what better way to show our support to the country and then have our fire department play the RCMP, so I came up with the name Smoke and Guns. While the score was a bit mixed between the two sides, both teams agreed that this was a great community event and a chance to have some fun. There's an awesome trophy on, at stakes here, um, but yeah, we're doing better than we thought we would. <laughs> uh, well, it's not going as planned. We are currently losing, but uh, we're doing our best. We've uh, used the Rebels players to sort of fill the gaps and hopefully even up the numbers a little bit. So we got our fingers crossed. Constable Theodosio was merely six hours into his new assignment to the Castle Guard Detachment, but was eager to join in on the fun on his first day on the job. I must admit it was a bit of a surprise. However, it's nice to see that um, we are involved in the community and that, uh, you know, everybody likes to sort of play games, you know, in public like this and that we can all just get along. The game was one of many events planned in Castlegar's bid to be named Hockeyville and for Heaton, the community spirit and pride as a hockey town shows. Well, you know what, we have two teams here, the Castlegar uh, Rebels and the Saints who are defending champs in their uh, respective leagues. Plus, you know what, there's 245 people in minor hockey here. It's been a, you know, since its inception, it's been a hockey town. And what better way of show um, everybody in Canada our community spirit and what we're about than entering this contest. The nomination period for Craft Hockeyville is now closed, so all of Castlegar will be anxiously awaiting to see if they made the cut to compete for the title. Winners will be announced on March the 8th during the broadcast of Hockey Night in Canada. However, Heaton feels that with the amount of support shown, this and the Craft Food Night at the Castlegar Rebels game will become annual events. And for today's matchup, the Castlegar Fire Department did pull ahead 11 to 9. What an awesome trophy! <laughs> For Shaw TV in Kalsagar, I'm Jennifer Waldie.